Hi everybody, it's Nicola here. So I have a very late empties video. It's some of May, some of June, but yeah, just a couple of bits that I wanted to show you I've been going through. Um, what I do is I actually put a carry bag like this onto the back of my chair. It has like um, a little bit of a, uh, I'll show you if I can. See on the, the that little knob on the chair. And what I do is I hang the carrier bag like that on the back, normally just with one handle. And then I will put, as I use things, up, I put them in there. So little tip for, um, you know, for your empties, if you've got a chair similar, then yeah, that's what I do so that I don't, you know, I'm not trying to grab for a bin or anything like that when I'm doing like bits for my empties. So um, yeah, that's why my empties are always in the carry bag. So. Okay, so I wanted to start off with these two makeup wipes. But if you see the front rather than the back, they're from um, Body Body Care Shop. So I have spoken about these before. These are the tea tree ones, and they're really moist. So actually, I can find myself using these to take off my makeup because they don't leave my skin dry and extra sensitive. Um, I do have to follow it up with a moisturizer afterwards, just in case. But actually, I find these not so irritating to my skin. Whereas the orange ones are a little bit drier, so I actually only use these to remove like swatches or clean my makeup or my desk table or things around me. So yeah, I go through them quite a lot. The next item I wanted to show, bear with me, put my phone on loud today is the Carex Chocolate Orange Hand Wash. Now I've been talking about this for ages. These care washes, um, care washes, these hand washes are amazing. I absolutely love them. This one really, really does smell. Oh, very chocolate orange. <sighs> but yeah, I love these. Um, they come in all sorts of different scents chocolate orange, strawberry laces, bubble gum and um, I just think if you have a nice smelling hand wash you are more likely to use it when you go to the bathroom definitely in my household anyway so yeah I love them they're available in places like super drug and places like that the next one I have is the L'Oreal LV Triple Resist reinforcing conditioner I do have the shampoo uh, I have the shampoo here but I'm not completely out of that one yet anybody else use up their conditioners way quicker than they use up their shampoo or is it just me but yeah I went through this um, this is great for fragile hair with a tendency to fall out or break easily I have found a bit of a difference in the amount of hair that um, is falling out on my head um, it's not stopped it completely but it has definitely reduced it so I think once I start looking at my nutrition obviously I'm a big girl so nutrition is obviously a factor in my hair condition and skin condition I'm very aware of that um, but this has definitely helped so if you have a tendency of your hair easily breaking when you brush it or easily falling out when you're washing it or just combing your fingers through and that definitely have a look out for these these are also available in Superdrug quite often on offer um, or boots I've seen them as well so um, yeah if you have a tendency of hair falling out or breaking easily definitely give this a try because I have definitely seen an improvement another hair product is the inset hairspray this was a um, one of three multi-pack um, that I got together this is the last one it did what it said it was a hairspray it's pretty good but um, definitely left my hair a little bit crispy 
so very glad not to be using that anymore it was okay but yeah um the next thing is a dove uh soft feel warm powder scent antiperspirant this is one of those um like creams and i definitely prefer the creams to the um sprays or the wet roll-ons because I just find the cream ones so much more um, better for me. They don't they don't make me feel sticky. I don't. I just feel them softer and and actually more moisturising than um, the sprays or the wet roll-ons. So I haven't repurchased this specific one, but I have repurchased another cream deodorant. So definitely my preferred choice um, I've gone through another Mercy hand cream uh, this one is the Shuri Cherry um, this was actually my mother-in-law's and when she saw me recently on holiday using my hand cream and she said oh I've got a hand cream but I don't like it very much um, she, I asked her which one it was and she pulled this one out I was like oh that's my favourite hand cream. I got it in Birchbox and she said, yeah, that's where I got it from. So she kindly gave it to me and yep, it's all gone. So um, that was back in March. So yeah, that's finished. <laughs> I absolutely love these. They have like a little, um, uh, like a little, little balls in them, which disintegrate as you rub them into your uh, do you rub the cream into your hands so it kind of exfoliates as well as moisturizes at the same time an amazing hand cream the only reason why i stayed with birchbox for so long in all honesty let's uh go to this this is a clarins uh relax bath and shower concentrate uh, with essential oils, it's 100 millilitres. There's still a little bit in there, but no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to get it out. This one smells of licorice. So if you don't like licorice, this ain't for you. This smells really strongly of licorice. I actually got this um, in a goodie bag at a wedding fair, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm not a massive fan of eating licorice, but the smell is is fine for me. I don't mind it. And it was really nice, um, felt kind of spa-like when you were using it. Not that I've ever been to a spa, but it's what I imagine a spa to smell like. Um, when I go on my honeymoon, I'm going to the spa on board the ship though, because we're going on a cruise. Definitely going to the spa. And somebody I met recently said, oh yeah, but they hiked the prices up on the ship. I don't care, it's my honeymoon. <laughs> I've already won the husband. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed using that. Um, probably won't repurchase because I know how expensive plans can be. But if I saw it on offer, I might contemplate it. Okay, let's go to nails. This is the Essence Nail Polish Remover Acetone Free. This stinks. Now I know nail varnish remover does stink, but this stinks even worse than normal nail varnish remover it is absolutely horrendous i literally had to use it like this i had to sit away from it it stunk so bad i'm so glad to get rid of it in fact i was actually taking my nail varnish off before i i normally i leave my nail varnish on for about three or four days but with this one I was almost taking off every two to three days just so I could use this up, just so I could get rid of it. How daft is that? But I am going to keep the bottle because the nail varnish I'm using at the moment, the nail varnish remover, sorry, is in a really tall bottle. So this will be good for travel, basically. So I'm actually um, going to reuse the bottle, recycle the bottle and use it for when I'm travelling. So not a complete waste comes in use. Sticking with nail polish, I'm decluttering this LA Colors Nail Hardener. This has gone really thick, really gloopy. I couldn't tell you how old this was. Um, it, is, it, it is probably 
one of the oldest nail polishes in my collection um it's gone cloudy i don't know if you can see that uh it's just gone really really weird and horrible and i know you can use nail thinner like a thinner for nail polishes i'm not sure if it works with nail hardness so i'm not too bothered i've got another nail hardener by essence which is doing wonders for my nails so i'm not too bothered about decluttering this one it wasn't a great one in the first place okay so i have gone through a nivea strawberry shine um lip balm there is literally nothing left uh, there's a little bit left in that tube i'm not going to bother digging it out though um and uh yeah i used that completely up and it only took me i'd say two or three months to use all of that up so um but then again i use lip balms constantly throughout the day once my lipstick's worn off i'm sort of reapply this two or three times a day so or on days when I don't wear any makeup so okay the next thing I'm gonna go to actually we'll stick with hands this is a hand and nail cream by Superdrug this is in their travel section I specifically went to the travel section because I was after a hand cream that could go in my handbag great tip for you guys if you want something to put in your handbag have a look in the travel section because they're all a lot smaller um and cheaper i think this is only them like 59p or 79p or something like that it has pro vitamin b5 and sweet almond oil softens hands and smooths cute um cuticles smells so nice this was a rather thin consistency and would run down my hand if i wasn't quick enough to to sort of start blending it in um but once it blended in it was beautiful it really did soften my hands it made my hands smell really nice as well and that smell lingered for quite a while after um really enjoyed this yeah so i might look to repurchase again for my handbag because again i need another one for my handbag now okay something which was more thicker in consistency this is a more gloopy consistency this is the simple uh kind to skin moisturizing facial wash this came in a trio i had a moisturizer and a toner with it those have both been used up this has now been fully used up there's no smell with the simple product because they're supposedly kind to sensitive skin so there's no perfume in them uh, it's got pro vitamin b5 and vitamin e it's got a skin loving ingredients i'm not going to say that word come on um and there's no artificial perfume or color and no harsh chemicals so it was really nice really good for my skin and considering i've got dry sensitive skin um it didn't bring me out in any kind of sensitive rash or anything and it didn't leave my skin feeling dry but i did always follow it up with a moisturizer asap after i'd used it because the water literally dries my skin out so yeah uh thoroughly enjoyed using that we'll definitely be picking it up again in the future okay so we all know i love these um i will repeat again for anyone who's not seen one of my videos before these are the Wilkinson's Maxi Oval Dual Face Cotton Pads. You get 50 in a pack, they're 50 pence to buy, so that's a penny each. They are dual face, which means one side is ridged and the other side is um, soft, um, like plain. So the ridged side really gets into all your nooks and crannies of your face and really gets that makeup or the nail varnish off your fingers whatever you're using it for and i absolutely love them they're absolutely brilliant in fact i will show you one right now so here they are and as you can see they're quite big um i'll show you against my hand as well so there's the rib side can you see those ribs and then this is the soft side and they are absolutely brilliant i use literally 
Um, I'm I'll be putting up my nighttime routine uh, either just before this video or just after this video. So go check that out and you'll see me using these. I actually use one per side of my face and then one for my eyes. Um, I do go through them quite quickly but that's because I kind of don't use them efficiently. But if I use them more efficiently I probably could use even less. I love them. Okay, so talking of uh, nighttime daytime routine, this is the Garnier Ultra Lift Day Cream. Uh, it's a complete beauty one with SPF 15 in. I use this completely up. I love the Garnier cream. The night cream, the day cream, it's my go to brand for nighttime creams and daytime creams, moisturizers. I find them amazing. In the packaging of this, there was like a little strip that you could cut out and it was like a, a chart for you to judge your um, eye like creases and wrinkles um, from when you first start using this to when you finish using this and you could then judge your how it's improved your your lines around your your eyes you have to use this consistently for it to work. Once you stop using this, sadly, those lines and wrinkles go back to the way they were before. So if you are looking for just one day cream to stick to, to stay by, and not be wandering off to any other brands or products in between, sandals and things like that, then this is a brilliant uh, day cream for you to use. I did see a difference in my lines and wrinkles around my eyes when I was using it. But you have to use it consistently. If, like me, you were getting samples from Birchbox or um, uh, Latest and Beauty or any other boxes that are out there, like Glossy Box or um, I can't think of any other boxes at the moment. But if you're getting samples from anywhere else and you're using those in between as well, you're not going to see the full advantage of this. But if you're going for just one day cream or one night cream, I would highly suggest the Garnier uh, night creams and day creams. Thoroughly enjoyed that. And they're generally on offer all the time as well. So um, I generally pick them up for about £5. But they do last. They do last an awfully long time. Okay, the next thing I have, I got through a primer. This is the Collection Primed and Ready Reviving and Anti-Fatigue Illuminating Primer in Cool Rose. I love this primer. I really, really do. It gives a nice pink tinge to my skin. So sometimes I'll actually wear this on its own because it kind of uh, gives my skin a real glowing look. So I'll wear this on like non-makeup days just on its own. Um, because it does give me that illuminating sort of pink glow um, it's not like bright pink but it, it is a slightly pink rosy sort of look and I love it I squeezed the living daylight out of this tube um, I was not ready to let it go so I will probably repurchase in the future more than likely but I have a lot of primers to get through at the moment I've only been wearing makeup for six months and yet I seem to have accumulated quite a few primers. I seem to have accumulated quite a lot actually. Okay, the last things in here are all the same products. They're all perfume samples. Now, I went to a recent Debenhams beauty event which if you look out at your local store they hold them apparently a few times a year where they'll have discounts, where uh, they were currently running a spend £40, get £10 worth of uh, £10 on your beauty card, um, on the beauty club card. Um, and when you spent £40, you would get a goodie bag and all of this sort of thing. And in that goodie bag, which actually was a Juicy Couture bag, it's not just a bag, it was a brand name bag. It was a, I, I got a Juicy Couture backpack, basically. Beautiful, gorgeous. Um, shame I don't have it with me to show you. But um, inside I got 20, no, 
30 perfume samples. 10 were men's and 20 were women's. So I have been going through them. I have a Galane, Mon, Mon Galane, mm, Galam, whatever. Um, didn't think much to it. The Black Opium, um, Floral Shock, Smart, Smart Mice. Yeah, Smart Mice. Um, I might think about purchasing it in the future. It was quite nice. Then I had Poison Girl um, by Dior. I really like this one and I also like the concept behind it. This isn't about um, the poison apple from um, Snow White. This is about the poison apple from Adam and Eve. That's the story behind the poison apple perfume by Dior. Um, and I thought it smelled absolutely stunning. Yeah, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Definitely want to purchase that in the future. Uh, next one I've got is Womanity by Terry Mugler. I've probably butchered his name. This was so nice. I put this on. I went and sat downstairs. Um, and my husband suddenly just started sniffing me. And I was like, what, 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 what are you doing? He was like, what are you wearing? And he thought it was the uh, Divine Decadence, which he bought me um, uh, by Mark Jacobs. And I said, no, it's Womanity. And he went, we have to buy that. That smells beautiful. I like that. So we went to the fragrance shop looking for it. And she said, oh, this one. And she brought out the bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. And she said, oh, it's been discontinued. We don't sell it anymore. I was like, well, what about this bottle here? And she went, well, this is a sample bottle. We can't sell you this. So, gutted. So, if anybody knows of Womanity being sold anywhere, please let me know because I need to buy this. When your husband says, that smells nice, you need to get there. Okay, so we've got the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I really, really enjoyed this one. This was really pretty. Yeah, very, very nice. Definitely like that one. We have Prada um, Iris one. This one was very, very light. My boiler's just gone off. Um, this one was very, very light. Sort of disappeared on me after about half an hour, an hour. Um, didn't really hang around, wasn't very impressed, and it's Prada, I should be impressed. Uh, this is Miss Dior by um, Dior, obviously, and yeah, really like, really like this one as well. It's got um, a grass rose enhanced with Egyptian jasmine absolute and draped with Indonesian patchouli, a harmony awakened with the zest of blood orange. The intensity of a sensual sheep floral. It's the blood orange I like in this one. Smells beautiful. Would definitely like to pick that one up if I saw it available. And another Mongolian. Um, yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> okay, or maybe not all um, samples of perfumes left. Okay, I have two beauty blenders beauty makeup sponge they're not beauty blenders this one's a real techniques miracle sponge this is the real techniques eye sponge absolutely love these um i did see a thing about cleaning these and i was going to give it a go but in all manner of fact um i've already repurchased so i'm not going to bother like trying to clean these um i may clean um you know my new ones but there's there's tears in this one and holes in it and it's just it's all coming to bits so time to say goodbye but love these these are my go-to sponges this one is amazing for under the eyes concealer okay the next bit nearly finished only a few more bits left this is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. Now, I got this in my wedding fair gift bag and I looked at it at the time and I went, yeah, right then, 
whatever, and I put it to the side. And then I found it about three weeks ago now, I think this is. And I thought, okay, there you go. I'll use it up. I put this on my face in the morning before I did my moisturiser. And then I used it every day until it was gone. This stuff is a miracle worker. When this says it is youth activating, please believe that. My skin looked and felt so much softer and plumper and brighter and just glowing. It just looked and felt so healthy and so good. I was, I was, I was literally screaming, no, please more, please more. <laughs> and it's just such a tiny little thing. Luckily, I have managed to get another sample of this stuff and I am keeping it. I am keeping the sample now till just before I go away on honeymoon and I'm going to use it for the week before I go away on honeymoon, make my skin look so beautiful right before I go away and then I've got some of the, um, oh, what's it called? My favourite face cream and the name of it has, has absconded from my brain. But I am, I'm going to use the other sample of this right before I go away on my honeymoon so that I have nice skin when I'm on holiday. I am saving you because I'm guessing that this stuff is really expensive to buy full size. But when it says it is youth activating definitely this definitely does what it says on the tin or the tube whatever love that so we should have ended on that actually because that was such a high unfortunately we're going to end on a little bit of a low these were two nars um samples uh i got these from the feel unique pick and mix system uh, this one was the NARS Blush Orgasm and this one was the NARS Bronzer in uh, Laguna. Now the NARS Bronzer was, this sample of the bronzer was pathetically poor. I mean as you can see they're just bits of card with a bit of dusting of the product on them. The blusher did last a little bit longer than the bronzer did for me. But in all honesty and truth, I mean, come on. How are we supposed to decide if we want to pay the high price of a NARS blusher and bronzer on just two little bits of card with a bit of sample dusted onto them? I mean, honestly, how am I supposed to make an informed decision about if I like the product or not? Um, I got maybe two uses out of the bronzer and I got maybe four or five out of the orgasm but that was because I was I started with the bronzer and I realized how quickly I went through that so I started being a bit more light-handed with the blush but in all honesty these were pants <laughs> and I'm not convinced to go and spend my money on a product that I barely got to try so I know they're very popular blushes and bronzers so you can kind of go on their popularity that they should be okay but I like to try before I buy generally uh, if I can and I tried and I wasn't impressed so I probably won't buy and that is it that is everything in my empties do you know how many times I've tried to film this video five times this is the fifth time I film this video and my camera keeps cutting off. Luckily, however, camera is still intact and I have finally finished my empty video. Yay! Hallelujah! So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed this for the fifth time. You haven't seen all five or ten. I have. Um, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. Move on to the next one. Ignore me if you want. I'm not too fast at this point. I'm so tired. <laughs> but um, yeah. Hope you're having a nice day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.